That alignment is perfect. Nice. Then there's the popular one, which is vinyasa ashtanga. Mm. A lot of us love vinyasa. Love Rashawn vinyasa. does vinyasa. Um, and so does Trina that's in vinyasa. We're trying to get Kwai to do some vinyasa, child. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Kwai like Bikram, though. She like it hot. Um, I do. Vinyasa is one of the most athletic, challenging practices. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to work on your breathing, it's a flow. So it's consistent. And actually, vinyasa comes from Ashtanga. It started in the 80s. It was derived from Ashtanga, the practice. So they're kind of one and the same. Beautiful. Then there's Bikram. I am a, a hot yoga instructor. I started off in Bikram eight, seven years ago at uh, hot, uh, Johns Creek Hot Yoga here in Alpharetta, Georgia. So um, Bikram is in 105 degree temperature at 40% humidity. And it is 26 postures um, in, a, in a room that is completely hot, but it's for, it was created by Bikram Chowdhury and it's for injury, but it's also detoxification, weight loss, stress management, all, stress management, all the above. And hot yoga is one of the same, it just has more postures. But let's get into yin today. Yes. The first posture we're gonna do is pigeon pose. Ladies, let's sit down. Okay. Now actually get on all fours, pigeon pose. Now pigeon pose, these, these postures I'm gonna take you through is part of yin. To every yoga series, there's a yin and there's a yang. The hard ones are yang, the easier ones are yin. So we're on all four. Now this is a great stress relief, okay? Now I want you to curl up into downward dog, curl your toes under and go into downward dog. Take your right leg, swing it up, swing it through. Next to your right hand, relax your left knee down. Walk your right hand over to your left hand. Relax your right knee down again. And square your hips. Release that left leg back. And just round over into pigeon. Now, in this posture, it's all about you and your, and your levels. So you might be here. You might be here. You might be all the way down like the ladies. This posture is for stress that's bottled up in the hips. Yes. A lot of times, we, when we're stressed out, we don't even know it, but we hold a lot of our stress in our hips. This is a great hip opener. Healthy hips equals longevity. Okay, ladies, so I want you to come up, come back on all fours, and then all fours, which all fours is shoulder width apart, hands and knees and feet shoulder width apart. Now, just relax back into child's pose which is to try to get your hips to touch your heels and relax your head down to the mat. Just like so. Now, a lot of people can use this. A lot of people use this for a relaxation posture. This is excellent for stress, stress in your back, stress in your hips, and stress in your neck. This releases all the stress and tension in that. And for beginners, you could probably lay in this for about 30 seconds, all of these postures, actually. Be beginners start off being in these postures for 30 seconds, but advance, try to hold it up for five minutes. Okay, ladies, come out of that posture. Now come and sit on your sit on your bottom. Bring your legs forward. Now I want you to take your right leg, cross it over your left leg, as high as you can on your hip. Bring your right hand, bring it behind you. Come a little bit on your left hip. Extend your, your left arm up and bring it in front of your right knee and push into spinal twist. Now this is so important because, especially for us ladies, Ooh, because it improves digestion, it's good for the processing of the liver and the kidneys, it relieves back aches and menstruation discomfort. Ooh. All right then. So this one got it all going on. Yes it does. <laughs> okay, well, release, awesome. release. Now ladies, I want you to stand up. This is a hard one, okay? But this is very good for your shoulders, hamstring, calves. So arms, uh, legs apart, wrist apart. Arms out like this, so you want your ankles to be in alignment with your wrists. Turn your toes in and slowly come forward. This is called wide, land standing, wide leg standing forward posture. And just let your elbows come to the floor. You want to keep your feet turned in because you want to release your hips. This is a great posture for everybody Ooh. and everything. There we go. Yes. And just let yourself sink. Now again, 30 seconds for beginners on these postures, but these are perfect for stress release during the holidays. Guys, we love you here at Sister Circle. We want you to be healthy, mind, body, and spirit. Yes. Thank you for joining me in my yoga right poses here. today. I hope you're feeling relaxed and calm. Up next, feeling relaxed and calm, because I'm out of breath. Up next, we continue <laughs> our zen mode and breathing mode, talking about mindfulness and meditation in our full circle, so you don't want to miss that. Ladies, look at Rashawn. Rashawn's turning up. She's in a shoulder stand. <laughs> That's an assisted shoulder stand? Yes. I can.